Tonight in Arizona, the fight to the finish. Republican candidate for governor Carrie Lake zeroing in on the economy in a state where inflation is among the highest, including gas prices averaging 4.30 a gallon. So we'll do what we can here in Arizona to give relief. Democrat Katie Hobbs has faced criticism for declining to debate her opponent. Tonight, though, blasting Lake as extreme. This is a race uh, not about Democrats or Republicans, but sanity over chaos. Voters tonight weighing in. Why did you decide to go with Carrie Lake? Um, the border and the economy. Why vote for Katie Hobbs over Carrie Lake? Um, I believe in her beliefs that I trust her more than I do Carrie Lake at this moment. While in Georgia, a fiery debate in the governor's race. Democrat Stacey Abrams down in the polls going after Republican Governor Brian Kemp on abortion rights. He refuses to protect us. He refuses to defend us. Kemp touting that Georgia was the first state to reopen after COVID. We're one new COVID variant away from Ms. Abrams wanting to lock our state down. There are at least nine competitive Senate showdowns that will determine the control of Congress, including Wisconsin, where Republican Senator Ron Johnson is running against Democrat Mandela Barnes. What Democrat governance has done to the state, what it's done to our country, is it's almost hard to describe. Democrats getting last minute help from former President Barack Obama. Mandela's opponent has done more than just about anybody in Congress to spread conspiracy theories about the 2020 election. Obama will appear here in Arizona on Wednesday, and then former President Trump will appear on the trail later this week in Iowa. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.